everybody, I'm Antoine Pelche. I'm the audio director for UFC Undisputed 3. And we're going to discuss some of the finer details of what we've done to improve the audio experience uh, on this year's iteration of the game. So one of the core principles behind uh, the quality of the play-by-play -play experience that we try to achieve on UFC Undisputed resides in the way that we acquire the content. When we get the announcers into the studio, the majority of the content is derived from showing them actual entire fights from the game, or in the case of the UFC, um, we're able to actually have access to their broadcast feeds. So we're able to take the lines from Mike Goldberg and Joe Rogan, literally cut them up, reverse engineer those, assign metadata to them, and put them in the game, which you know is, as the UFC would like to say, as real as it gets. But if you're getting tagged by a faster fighter coming in, it'll throw you off over and over. There's two notable areas of the game where we've also added significant portions of advice to the user about the strengths and weaknesses of fighters. The first one is the shadow boxing sequences that occur right after you select a fight and before the tail of the tape. During these portions, Mike Goldberg will detail strengths and weaknesses of these fighters and where they're from and who they train with. BJ Penn, not once, but twice. And then, of course, we have fighter entrances in the game this year. So as the fighters are coming out, Joe Rogan will uh, give his take on the fighters' three strengths. And no one is better at taking control of a fight. Finally, as far as play-by-play -play commentary is concerned, um, the Pride experience is, is one that we're particularly proud of. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Pride Fighting Championships. We didn't have access to any of the previous footage. So what we did is we got Steven Quadros and Boss Rudin in a studio and literally played them about 16 straight hours of fights. Look at that. Use his head like a speed bag. Every single line in the game is straight from the horse's mouth, as they say. And there we have another clinch. What is he going to do with it? Wow, somebody's bleeding. We figured that that was a, a very key component to distinguishing Pride commentary from UFC commentary. Joe Rogan and Mike, you know, the UFC is, is a sport, and it's regarded as such, and uh, they announce it as such with a pretty much a clear-cut play-by-play announcer and a, and a color announcer. And, um, you know, they, they call it as they see it, but anybody who's familiar with Pride knows that Stephen Quadros and, and Boss Rudin had a very particular way of announcing fights that they wouldn't necessarily call every single play as they see it. They'd only sort of shout out notable actions when needed, and then they would do a lot of humorous banter, and they also had some very particular vernacular, and I think we've reproduced that very accurately. Uh-oh! Suplex! Oh! And that's not canvas what we're hearing right now. distinguish UFC Undisputed 3 from 2010, we wanted to make sure that the experience was a more visceral one, that it was closer to the edges of the octagon, if not entirely inside it, and that the audio experience needed to really reflect that. Ultimately, the entire 5.1 surround sound mix is tailored around the idea of being both inside the octagon and being a broadcast spectator. So we wanted to make sure that we made a major emphasis on grappling foley. So when the fighters themselves grapple and practice jujitsu and attempt submission attempts and, and roll and change positions on the ground, we really wanted that to be a tangible experience. Another initiative we took was to distinguish the impact of strikes and collisions between fighters in various weight classes. So if you're taking Brock Lesnar in against Shane Carwin, you're going to hear nothing but thunderous impacts. Whereas if you take Joseph Benavidez in against Demetrius Johnson, you're going to definitely hear lighter sounds and just a snappier approach to that sound. When you get the game, try playing different guys, you should really feel a tangible difference in the impact and the collisions between fighters of different weight classes.